بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد as a reminder to myself and my brothers and sisters in Islam I want to remind ourselves about the importance of dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal of remembering Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala often and supplicating to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala often and that those are the characteristics of the mu'minin of the believers that they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much they believe in the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ayat they reflect and ponder upon their lord subhanahu wa ta'ala by reading the quran and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our shortcomings regarding the quran his book because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us guidance given us the path laid it all out this is your success but then we refuse and it's similar to the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he alayhi salatu wasalam said kullu ummati yudkhulun aljanna illa man aba قالوا ومن يأبى يا رسول الله قال من كان قال من قال the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said all of my nation will enter paradise except for those who refuse then he was asked sallallahu alaihi wasallam and who will refuse ya rasulullah and he said those man ata'ni dakhala janna wa man asani faqad ya'ba or kama qala nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam that those who follow me will enter paradise and those who disobey me have refused so by following the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his path and by remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much and having knowledge about tawhid who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and how to worship him properly then we can have the sabila najah we can have the the path of success but when we do not read the quran reflect upon the ayat implement that in our lives then it is is if we refused wa iyadan billah min dhalika and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of the zakirin allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-karim إنما يؤمن بآياتنا الذين إذا ذكروا بها خروا سجدا وسجدوا بحمد ربهم وهم لا يستكبرون Allah the Almighty says only those who believe in our ayat our signs who when they are reminded of them fall down and prostrate and glorify the praises of their lord and they are not proud showing us that the one who refuses to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the just the fact that they refuse shows that they have pride as if they're too proud to bow before the one who created them the one who gave them 
the reason in which they feel they're proud. The one who created them, the one who gave them success in this life or what they believe is success. The one who provided for them, the one who sustains them, but they're too proud. But the believers, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, إِنَّمَا يُؤْمِنُوا بِآيَاتِنَا الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ بِهَا خَرُّوا سُجَّدًا Only those who believe in our ayat, when they are reminded, they fall down and they prostrate. That the believer bows before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and realizes their position between them and the creator of the heavens and earth. And that he is omnipotent. And he is the only one worthy of worship. So never be too proud to worship your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us to do those things which please him and stay away from those things which displease him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.